Now that we have our model isolated, we're going to move her to the gradient background. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, first I'm going to erase this last little bit here in the corner. Use the bracket keys to make the eraser brush big enough. Okay, now if I hold down the Apple or Command button and click on the layer, it will make a selection just around our model. So now using Command C or Apple C, I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste her onto the background. Now it doesn't look like she's even there, even though the layer exists over here. So what I need to do is zoom out a bit and then hit Apple T. We can see I need to transform the size of the model. So holding Shift, I'm going to scale. I'm going to keep moving it over as I scale so I can still see what I'm doing. And I'll bring her to about this size. That looks good. Now, the background is just white right now and it's locked. So, first, I'm going to unlock it by double clicking on it. I'm going to title it Background. And now I'm going to control or right click on the layer and choose Blending Options. And I'm going to click on Gradient Overlay once. And I'm going to click on Gradient Overlay one more time to go into the options. And I'm going to choose that orange background. Good. And I think I had it reversed. Yeah, that looks a little better. Okay. So now I've got her isolated onto the background. Let's... Oh, I see something wrong. I forgot to erase this part. So I need to go with the magic wand tool, select that, oops, make sure you're on her layer, select that and delete. Okay, I'm just going to do a little bit more erasing with the eraser tool, change the brush size to something really small, that looks pretty good, I'm just going to use one, that looks good, I'm just going to erase those pixels there. Okay, now... When I look at it at 100%, looks alright. 